Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how I created this look. I actually was looking on Instagram the other day and I saw this look on Instagram and became obsessed with it. It's by this artist right here. I will leave her name on the screen as well as in the description bar. And this is the look that she, oh my God, how gorgeous. Like gorgeous so i thought okay i have to recreate this i wanted to do something that was completely different dramatic than a lot of my recent tutorials they've all been kind of simple everyday looks but i wanted to do something out of the box something challenging something different so this is the look that i did today so i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said it is different it's fun to go ahead and be creative with makeup and do something completely out of your comfort zone so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below i'll see you guys in my next video and enjoy all right guys, so this is just a recap of the photo and the look that we will be doing today. So I have already primed my eyes with my Urban Decay Potion Primer, so on to doing the eyes. I'm using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. So first I'm gonna take this shade called Tempera. I'm sorry, I know, I will probably butcher the majority of these names. I am a girl from Jersey and I do not know any really fancy words. So I'm just taking that shade and putting it underneath my brow as my brow bone highlight with this fluffy angle brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it into my eye look. Then going in with Burnt Orange, see I can say that one, with this Smashbox fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and put this into the crease as my transition shade, going from outer corner to inner corner, and then blending it upwards in circular motions. Next, I'm gonna take Raw Sienna, which is that shade right there, and I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and place this right into the crease as well and blend it up also. I'm just adding this shade to add a little bit more dimension to this look, so going back and forth and blending it upwards, and then switching back to my fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out again as always. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Antique Bronze, which is such a gorgeous shade, oh my god. So taking that same blending brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right into to the crease. I'm now mainly going to focus this shadow right into the crease and I'm going to blend it up slightly but not as high as I blended raw sienna or burnt orange if you guys know what I mean. It's just going in layers and adding dimension to this look so just going back and forth and blending it out again just to add dimension to this eye look. Then taking Cypress Umber, which is that really dark brown shade in this palette, and taking that same blending brush, I'm gonna focus this in the outer corner of my lid and then start to blend this into my crease. I'm putting it really in the outer corner, the outer V of my eye, again, to add some smokiness and depth to this eye look. So for the lid shade, she wrote, the original artist wrote that she used a ColourPop eyeshadow, which I didn't have. So I was going through my palettes to kind of figure out which shadow to use. So first I went in with the Lorac palette, the first one, and I went in with the shade Champagne. But I just thought it was, it's a beautiful color. I love that color so much, but I just felt like it wasn't as intense as I wanted it. So what I did is I went in with my Natasha Denona palette and I took this shade right here. It's called 04M and then I ruined that shadow with my nail, but moving on. So this is a really beautiful metallic chrome shade and as you can see it's gorgeous and it was the perfect shade that I want but I wanted to go in and make it even more intense so I went in with my Mac fix plus and as you can see doing that then this shade you just completely like bumped up the shade and it was exactly what I wanted so you can use this shade of course um, if you have any shade that's like kind of a metallic -y color um, but for me I thought this was the perfect shade I didn't have that color pop shade so I just used what I had so then I'm gonna go back with my blending brush and just blend that color into my um, eye look a little bit more. Off camera, I did my liner. I used my Inglet Gel Liner in number 77. And then I actually went in with my Sigma Liner in Legend, as you see me doing here. And what I did was I had some fallout from my Natasha Denona shade, and I didn't feel like going back in and getting gel liner out and going over it and everything. So I'm just taking this liquid liner. As you can see, it is so black, and it completely covers up all that fallout. I love, love, love this liner. And then for lashes today, I'm going in with my House of Lashes Smoky Muse Lashes, which is what these look like right 
here. And then I went ahead and applied a coat of mascara. I'm using my Galactic Mascara, but of course, as always, any black mascara that you have will do. So then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes and then we'll move on to the face. To prime my face, I'm going in with my Becca Back Light Primer. This is such a beautiful primer. It gives such great luminosity to the skin. So I really, really love this stuff. So I'm applying it to my face and then blending it out. Then going in with a second primer, I'm using my Cover FX Mattifying Primer that I recently got in my Sephora haul. And I'm just applying this to the forehead because the forehead is usually where I do get a little bit of oil coming through. So I just went ahead and applied it on the forehead. For foundation, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Cover Foundation. This is in the shade 030, I believe. I will leave the number down below for you guys. I can't remember off the top of my head. And then I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just blend all this out. I went in with my Becca Primer to give a little bit of luminosity but then I went in with um, I don't know why I just did that move okay but then I went in with a mattifying primer so then throughout the day as everything sinks together and my oils come through it will give a really beautiful finish to the skin for concealer I'm going with my LA girl concealer this is in the shade natural so of course I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under the eyes as well as highlight the rest of my face And then of course, I'm going back in with my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna go ahead and blend all that out. After that, I'm then gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and I'm going in with, of course, you guys know, my tried and true Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm using my Sigma F35 brush to set my under eyes. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and set the highlighted areas of my face that I just blended out with my Beauty Blender. To set the rest of the face, I am gonna go in with a different powder. This is my Besame Vanilla Brightening Powder. This is a translucent powder as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this all over the face. My The rest of my face doesn't really get oily, so that's why I go in with a different powder. To bronze, I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer, and I recently got this as well in my Sephora haul, and I have been loving it. So using my Sigma Powder Brush, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin. I'm using um, bronzing my cheeks, my forehead, as well as my chin, and then I'm bringing it down my neck a little so everything is one color and then of course going in with my Kat Von D contour kit the shade and light contour kit I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks and my face even more I'm then gonna go ahead and do my brows with my Anastasia brow definer in soft brown and then I'm gonna fill them in with my brow powder in soft brown I am gonna go ahead and speed through this or completely skip this because you guys have seen me do my brows a bazillion times so I didn't want to waste time on it and as you can see brows on fleek as well as my hair looking really really good to finish up the face, I'm actually gonna go in with two blushes. I'm using my Sigma Aura Powder in, this, in the shade In the Saddle, and oh my God, how gorgeous is that color? Like seriously, that looks so pretty on camera, I love it. So I'm going in with my contour brush and just applying that right onto the cheeks. And then to add in a little bit of color, I'm going in with the Jouer Cosmetics um, blush, and this is in the shade Bloom. Bloom. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right to the apples of my cheeks and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it back into in the saddle and then going back with my Sigma F35 I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more. For highlight I wanted it to be on fleek today so I'm actually gonna go in with two. This first one is by Artist Couture and this is in the shade Illuminati and I'm using my Morphe M501 brush applying that right to the cheekbones and then again I wanted it to be intense because um, I can't like I can't. This is Coco Bling by Artist Couture and this is just the best I mean like like I like I can't even I can't even talk right now How, yeah you yeah you better break dance because your highlight is on fleek okay anyway moving on so now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes I'm going in with my LA girl fine line liquid liner so what I'm gonna do is taking this liner I'm gonna create an inner corner wing to my eye so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a point in that inner corner in the tear duct and that is going to elongate your eye and just give 
Okay, that's Chanel squeaking her toys. I'm so sorry about that. But I'm just gonna really make that inner corner wing as you see. I don't like to do a really, really intense wing with my eye. Of course you can. But for me, I just like to really accentuate that inner corner and just make it into a point. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring the liner into my waterline a little bit so later on it will all go into each other. So that's what the eye look should look like right now. So first I'm gonna go in and show you guys how I did this eye because the other eye I did it a little bit longer and we don't need to do that. So I'm going in with my Lime Crime liner. This is the white liner. I'll leave the name of it down below for you guys so you can get it if you are interested. And I'm going to go ahead and create a line right underneath that inner corner wing and right underneath my regular wing. So I'm just applying that little touch of white and then I'm going back over it to make it even more um, opaque. So just going in. I love this liner. I actually don't use it as much as I would like, but I love adding that color to like your regular wing like how gorgeous is just like that white liner right there like it's oh my god i love it so then I'm gonna go back in with my LA Girl Fine Line Liquid Liner and I'm gonna go ahead and create another line right under that. I'm just completely going off of the photo and this is just exactly what she did. So I'm creating another right under that and it's gonna be like a like a quadruple triple wing, you know what I mean? It's just intense. So now I'm going in with the Anastasia Shadow in Noir with an angled brush and I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that right under the eyes and then create another line right underneath that white in the inner corner. So it's just, it's just so many, I, 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 I like, I, I'm seriously at a loss for words because I love the way that the bottom lash line turned out. So I'm gonna go in with my pencil brush and just blend that out. So that's how you should do your eye look so that it's really simple. For me on this eye, I created a line across the whole bottom of my eye, but you don't need to do that. The way that I just showed you guys is how you should do it so then you don't need to waste forever on doing your other eye. But of course, I wanted to share with you guys that I did the pretty much same exact thing to my other eye. Just make sure you do it the first way because I don't want you guys to waste time. <laughs> So after all that work is done, then this is what the eye should look like. So the last, um, second to last, we're gonna go ahead and apply liner in our borderline. This is my Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyeliner in Onyx. Of course, any black liner that you have will do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of mascara to my lower lashes. Going back in, in with my Galactic Mascara, just applying a coat of that. Then to finish off this look, I'm gonna go and do lips. So first I'm going in with the MAC Lip Liner and this is in the shade Whirl. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips as always. For lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Jouer Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Liche. I'm sorry, I am just butchering these names today. It's a really, really gorgeous color as you can see. I did wanna have color with this look, um, just a little bit of like a pinky nude color. So I'm applying this to the lips. Again, you guys know the drill. And then for lip gloss, I'm going in with this Marc Jacobs one. Again, I just got this recently. This is in the shade Sugar Sugar. I actually did this backwards. I actually go in with Anastasia Pure Hollywood because I did want to make the lips a little bit nude. So if it was my way and I could redo it, I would go in with the Pure Hollywood now and apply that on top of the Jouer color and then go in with the lip gloss. But it, you know, it'll give you the same effect, but at the same time, I would pretty much have gone with the liquid lipsticks first and then have done the lip gloss. So after that, your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.